Another special guest joining us right now, Mr. Executive Board Member, Integrity Partner of Family First Life, Priority Life. And um, we've, I've been uh, hanging out with him as well. We had a meeting yesterday. We are in a meeting now. We're going to that meeting tomorrow in Atlanta. Um, and this is Mr. Nick Ayala. So how are you doing today, buddy? Good, dude. Thanks for having me. Happy to have you here, buddy. Love yeah, it. well, try to get band together, you know, once a week, talk about things that are important. We go over numbers and whatnot. We, this week, we had um, 37 people over 10K submit. <laughs> <laughs> we had 14 Done people over that. 14 people over 15k just uh everything's rolling thousand apps 302 agents just numbers are popping man i That's know awesome. you see it from your perspective as well and i'd love for you maybe share for a few minutes about what what um you know what your perspective is on it on what they can all capitalize because there's a lot of new agents and okay. a lot of our top managers too so wherever you are new or new or not it's like you have to see everyone here sees what's going on with the company right now it's 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 changed. I mean, it's it's growing so much faster than ever before. And and the majority of that is due to Internet Life Leads. Obviously, COVID's helped, but Internet Life Leads has been the game changer. There's no doubt about it. But with that growth comes a lot of responsibility if, of what you want. Because if you just want to write insurance, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, go, go make thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 a month or more writing insurance. There's nothing wrong with that at all if that's what you want. But the majority of people here or building teams, they want more. They want an integrity deal. They want... They just want more. And if you're not growing at a pace that the company's growing at, for instance, our group right now is very stagnant compared to the growth we were used to for the past few months. We just have been. It's my fault, period. It, ha it's, it has to be. And then it trickles down. But we have to look at that and go, what are we doing differently? Or what's not working now that was working before? What do we need to change? Because we need to go. We need to run. We need to get people doing these, these partnerships. We need to get people getting, getting to wherever it is that they want to be. And the way we do that the most and the way that we have to do that as a company and as FL America and everyone that's 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 in that organization and organization is is by working together and figuring out how everyone can help each other. And that's the beauty of FFL, but that and, and the culture that we have, that's what's so great is that everyone's willing to share, everyone's willing to reach out. And if you, what I've learned when it comes to leading a team is that nothing I do is special. And my job is not to give people all the answers, even if I might have an answer they are asking. My job is to direct people in the direction for them to find the answers because they're independent and because that's the best way to do it. That's how they learn the most. Your job is, is to find the information you need to be successful in whatever you're trying to do. All the information's it's all out there, Grady, all yeah. of it. And so when people call me and they have these questions, unless it's something I really have to handle for them, an issue, so they're asking me any other question, dude, I'm going, hey, you should call this person because they're doing that really great right now, or this man or this woman, or, or call these three people. And then once you're done with them, call me back and tell me what they said, and let's talk about it. And now they're getting these different perspectives of, of, of people's angles and opinions, and they're probably all saying the same thing, but just in a different way. And they're able to put together the information for themselves and really learn. And what's funny is they'll call you back and go, dude, you just helped me so much. Like, and all I did was, was direct them in the, the right place to find the information they needed. Great. That's been the game changer for me. And that's how we are able to, that's how you're going to be able to build a big, really big agency. If that's what you want, you can't do it by holding everyone's hand and, and, and being ever there for everything. It's hard they too, because you want to help. You do. Like you want, like, there's no lack of wanting to help, but it's the, if we, if we, fix everything before we let teach you how to fix it yourself you know you're never going to learn right 100 you know it's funny because like we've been talking about this and, and we've all done this if you're building an agency we've all done this where it's like we have these calls right these calls are great but how many do we need you do one a week now for it's it's very strategic because how many calls people need because when we're when we're doing all these calls when we're doing all these trainings it's like all we're telling people is if you don't get on this call, you're not going to make it. This is a lot harder than, than you think it is. You better get on the call. We're not trying to hurt people. We're trying to go get on the call so we can help. But in reality, what we're doing is hurting them because we're mentally, subconsciously telling people this is harder than it actually is when this is the easiest thing you've ever done in your life. Like we're working with a group right now that just keeps trying to overcomplicate. I'm like, guys, it's, let's slow down. It's the easiest thing you've ever done. You're getting a lead of someone that asked for life insurance that filled it out. And you just call them and tell them you're coming over. Go to the house. Don't mess it up. Just be a person. It's not hard. And anyone on here, that has ran insurance at all at any level here, they'll realize how this is really dumb easy. Buy more leads and book more appointments. That's all you got to do. And, and, and building an agency is the same thing. Talk to more people and get out of the way. Get out of the way. 
be there when they need you, but get out of the way. And that's that's one thing that that I think Andrew's amazing at because he gets out of everyone's way. He's there if you need him, but he's out of your way. He's letting you run your business, you know? Yeah. Well, you, um, I know you, so you're opening, you've got your now two Boca offices. Mm -hmm. You looked into one in Nashville before, you bought one in Alabama. But I, what I'm getting at is I want, I'd love if you talk about work spots and the sense Sean mentioned it for a minute and our company goal to get to 400 total offices and how that app is kind of supporting your team. And then additionally, like how many of your guys are taking advantage of lead discounts? Well, the lead discounts are awesome. <laughs> I can't like, thank you mail pro for that. Like, thank right. You. I mean, it's crazy. Um, look, the work spot situation, I think is it hasn't changed the company yet because it's so new. Correct. But I think over the next six months, year, whatever it's going to take, I think it's going to take the company to the, the level we're trying to get to. We can't go to a billion dollars without some better structure and the better structure is offices. You know, we, we have everything else. We don't have the, the multitude of offices across the country that people need. You know, we were looking at other companies. I'm sure Sean talked about it. Sean talked about it. Andrew was doing it like crazy. It's like looking at these other companies going, dude, we're way better than them, but yet they're out recruiting us, especially young people. They're out recruiting us. How, why? And the answer was they have that structure of a local office. So we have to get there. And that's why Sean's goal is 400. But I mean, it's like, we can, we're going to go so far past that over the next year, two years, because work spots gives people an opportunity, which is really cool for me. I don't mind spending the money to go up in an office. But what I get Grady from it is I go, hey, if I can get 30, 40, 50 people in that office or signed up to go to that office on work spots, work spots is going to then kick me back some money, which means I can offset my cost because getting 12 paper isn't free and air conditioning units aren't free and none of this, it's not free. It's all cost money. But now I can offset a lot of that cost, which makes me more comfortable to go get an office somewhere, even if it's not somewhere locally, like we just opened one in New Orleans not long ago, yeah. bought that building. And it, and it was, it was like, we, do we have the leadership we need? Maybe, maybe not, but I was okay with it because I'm like, Hey, work spots is going to come kick in some money. Um, and I'll, I can cover a lot of my costs that way. So that's cool. And then the lead discounts, dude, I mean, how do you not, how do you not get on it just for that? Like we had an agent first time mail pro did a, um, did a lead discount. She comes up to me, she goes, I just saved $320. She goes, I just paid for work spots for three and a half months, basically. I'm like, yeah, that's worth it. And then, and then Mail Pro's doing these lead discounts like three, four, five, six times a month. Like, it's crazy. So it's like, why would you not be on it just for that, number one? Yeah. And number two, the, 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 the way you can talk to, you know, we're in a meeting the other day, Grady and Sean was saying, he's like, there's X amount of people on work spots, right? Well, guess what the, the differentiation is between those people and the people that are on our slacks or on just whatever is they're probably actually working all of them because they're spending the money on this platform, which means you're dealing now with the, the, the producers of the company and you get to reach out to them on that, on that um, platform really easily, man. It's super cool. I, I know Andrew gets in there and he posts uh, about events. Um, we're going to start in our office, a, what we learned from Montalto, um, third Thursday. So third Thursday, it will be next, the, the third Thursday in May, but it's like from three to five, a meetup. And I mean, we're gonna get food and we'll have anyone who's in our local office in Arizona is more than welcome to come in and we'll have food and meet and greet and meet all you know top producers that work out of that office and, and give an opportunity kind of just build more fellowship amongst um, the local markets. And so that's something that, I mean, month, Came from Ryan Montalto. Yeah. I was like, that was that was great, Ryan. Yeah, that was, really that was good. a good idea. So it's something that you know we'll probably see you know take off amongst the other offices. And these are going to become sort of the, you know, we're a very strong-willed, focused company, which is something that we hold ourselves high. We work really hard. I just did uh, uh, Witcher's podcast called Weekend Warrior, and the whole thing's about working the weekends. Um, and the thought process, though, that we have that we have the work ethic instilled across, but we can still build community. And that's what I think some of these offices are going to allow. So um, check Slack. I saw you posted in there. I apologize. I didn't catch your name, but check Slack. Check your emails. Uh, it's workspots.org. Workspots.org. I just went on the app store and just hit workspots. Yeah, we're, it's like a, it's a cool looking so. circle, but workspots. Check Slack. Whoever messaged you here to, to join us on this call can tell you how to get on workspots. And hey, um, dude, congrats on the partnership. Thanks, brother. You as well. Thank you, man. You as well. You as well. This is, this is, this is a, a fun business to work hard with people that you not only have likenesses with, but you're, you know, proud to work alongside. So can be happy for you, for this us awesome and, team. and for those growing. to come. So appreciate you, Nick. Thank you so Thank much you, for bro. joining me today. All right.